What is up everybody? Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing if you're new. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna address a video I made recently on my TikTok. Very oversimplified, it was like 20 seconds. It was actually before a lot of the COVID stuff and the economy breakdown has sort of happened. And it was talking about how banks work. A lot of people, especially young people on TikTok, don't understand the concept of banks not actually storing your money. You know, they're not required. They are required by law. Uh, to keep a percentage of it, and it could be varied from three to 10%. In some cases, it's 0%, which is called fractional reserve lending. So I talked about this topic. It went super viral, 5 million plus views, and I got trolled like crazy from a lot of people going, that's not how banks work. They do have your money, and you could pull out the money at any time, and blah, blah, blah. The point is, this actually really inspired me to focus on a lot of uh, the content that I've been producing and just talking about financial and economic concepts that are very confusing to people, especially young people. So I want to really sort of demystify some of these things. So that's where a lot of the inspiration for this stuff comes and, you know, feedback from, from the community and the audience is super important so I can understand how to tailor my content. But let's jump into what I'm going to be talking about today. This two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trillion dollar stimulus package. What is it all about? Well, let's, let's for starters, understand that there will probably be free money available to some businesses, especially businesses that have, you know, many people on their payroll, a lot of fixed expenses. There's going to be SBA financing, but there also actually will be like relief money. This is a little crazy because the U S government, um, doesn't actually produce real money. They produce currency. Real money is backed by silver and gold. Back in the day, that was the case. But today, that's not the case. Currency is backed by debt. And we are a debt-based economy that most people don't really understand or think about when more currency, fiat currency, the US dollar, is brought into circulation. And it's done through a series of really difficult to understand, fucking majorly complicated steps that involve the World Bank's bidding on the debt and taking their fees, Federal Reserve, the Treasury, all issuing IOUs called bonds. Think of it like a bad check. You know, the, the government is just writing bad checks, bad checks, bad checks. They don't have to have a balance in their account. Unlike us citizens, you know, when we go and write a check, we gotta have that money in that account or we're gonna be in trouble, right? They can just keep writing bad checks and that's exactly what they're gonna keep doing. So when you hear uh, in the last week or two, president saying, we're not running out of ammo, basically cash, of course he's not, he's just gonna keep writing bad checks. Or the federal government or federal reserve saying, or FDIC, don't pull your money out of the banks. Or, you know, we're gonna keep supplying more currency, you know, until we figure this shit out. That's fucking crazy. And that's why the financial markets are reacting this way because the guys in Wall Street, they know you can't just do that. You can't do that without serious, serious implications and risk of basically turning the United States into a third world country where we're gonna start seeing major, major inflation like in countries in Latin America where all of a sudden we're paying a ton more for gas and power, food and medical services because they just keep pumping way too much cash into the economy. So are there safe havens? I don't really know. I think it's too soon. I have no idea if crypto is really gonna be a safe haven. No idea. Gold, I don't know. Silver, I don't know. Real estate? This is a really amazing time in history to study your facts, analyze everything, start learning these concepts because you're gonna be hearing a lot of these things. A lot more, especially if you're watching all these press conferences. So it's important to know what's going to come ahead because things are moving so incredibly fast right now. And we could see a breakdown of our economic structure here very quickly. We don't really know and they don't really know because we just don't have enough information yet. I'll be talking about this a lot more, updating you guys on things that I feel like talking about and hear about, uh, kind of assessing the health and, and risks of what we have going on right now. So make sure to tune in to my other channels. Uh, TikTok, I do a lot of financial uh, economic stuff. My LinkedIn, I do a lot of short form content, podcasting, links below. Thanks for tuning in guys, I'll see you tomorrow.